The deadline for applying for FEMA assistance as well as SBA assistance is quickly approaching. The last day flood survivors in affected counties can apply for assistance is September 28th. September 28th is the registration deadline. Um, so if you are a renter or a homeowner in Breathitt, Clay, Floyd, Knott, Lee, Leslie, Letcher, McGoffin, Martin, Osley, Perry, Pike, and Whitley County, who was affected by the severe flooding on July 26, you may be eligible for FEMA disaster assistance. We are just asking everyone to please go online to apply, um, register with FEMA, and then apply with SBA. And even if you get something from FEMA, and it's not enough to cover your damages. You can still come to SBA so you can get more. Some services offered by FEMA and SBA include renter's assistance as well as lodging reimbursement. Um, so rental assistance, temporary lodging is available for eligible survivors. Um, like we were talking about before, if you receive a letter from FEMA and don't know what next steps to take, or if your letter says that you're deemed ineligible, FEMA is here to help. For every survivors, I don't want you to be discouraged with the name US Small Business. Um, we also take care of renters as well as homeowners. So homeowners can get as much as $200,000 and um, renters can get as much as um, for, uh, 40. At Pifeville Medical Center, our vision of creating a heart and vascular institute that will rival any other in Kentucky is a reality. We've assembled a top team of more than 30 multidisciplinary providers. Together, those highly experienced providers perform many of the most advanced cardiac procedures available anywhere. We have armed them with cutting edge technology and resources needed to provide comprehensive heart care close to home. Pikeville Medical Center, when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. Those who receive a letter saying they have been denied FEMA assistance are advised to read the letter carefully as it may provide information on what assistance they are eligible for. Those who are denied assistance by FEMA can apply for loans through SBA, and if you are denied by SBA, they will direct you back to FEMA to appeal your case. Survivors that disagree with FEMA's decision do, does have the opportunity to appeal, and with this, they will have to submit a written letter appealing within 60 days of their initial letter that they have received from FEMA. I advise that once you are being denied um, loan opportunity, you go back to FEMA. Like I said, the important thing is for us to get everybody's approval. You can register for FEMA assistance in person, online at disasterassistance.gov or by calling 800-621 3362. You can also download the FEMA app and apply for assistance from your smartphone or tablet. You can apply for SBA assistance by visiting sba.gov disaster. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.